everybody. It's Plastic Profiles. What's going on, everybody? Hey. Oh, my gosh. It feels like so long for I, us. I, I know. I know, man. Feels so, like forever. The band's so, back together, guys. He went back. So <laughs> that might all seem unusual because we just released an episode yesterday. But we it's record magic. a little bit ahead of time uh, unless we're talking about today, which mm. is going to come out tomorrow. <laughs> it's just it's the quick turn. Uh, we do it both ways. You July fifteenth. So, you can turn around quick. You see the skin on my teeth? No, no, it's almost gone. Mm, done. Uh, <laughs> my guy so, right there. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, as you saw in the intro, this is our classic. Uh, classic. This is our Cobra Convergence Eight offering. Um, uh, we are going to do. Zarana. Whoa, Zarana. Um, before before Zarana. we get into so this, correct though. Me, correct uh, me if I'm wrong. Is this, what's that? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it, is she one of your favorites? <laughs> it will all, all will be abundantly <laughs> clear by the end of the episode. Yes, yes. Yeah, you're, you're going to figure it out pretty quick. It's going to be, it's going to be, um, <laughs> oh, yeah, buddy. yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be, but, uh, but, but anyways, before we get into that, I wanted to take a moment to say thank you to uh, Brian Lahr, Hooded Cobra, Hooded Cobra Commander 788, for all his work for us in the Joe community, for all his inspiration, um, all of his efforts, and, uh, you know, he, he will be missed in the Joe community, but, uh, you know, he has made his mark for sure. Mm. Mm. Um, oh, and look at all this stuff behind me. I'm in, a, I got mm. space. I'm That's no longer wild. in the man cove. Oh my god! I don't even know how to take this right now. Like, it's yeah, it's it's a lot to look at. Try not to look at all that. Oh. Tell you what, let's do this. Oh no, I can't do that. No, sorry, you're gonna have to deal with it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I decided for uh, to celebrate uh, hooded, um, hooded Cobra, to celebrate Cobra Convergence Eight. I would upend my life and move. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that's what I've done. So what have you done to celebrate Cobra Convergence Eight, Steve? Um, Behind went to a uh, winery. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. uh, Did you have pinkies out? I, you know, well, not with the. I, I, I fisted that, <laughs> bro. Like, who cares about swirling and tasting the notes? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm just here for one reason and one reason only, folks. They hold uh, out the spit bucket, and you're like, no. I, I, I swallowed it. I got it. You know, I'm going to keep this. Like, this is mine now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you want me to drink this too? <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> drink the spittoon. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. <laughs> it's kind of gross. It's kind of gross. Oh. oh. <laughs> and all I hear is the sound of ding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay. No. So uh, let's get into this. So it's been, a while. it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. We're we're a little on the rusty side. Of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's. Uh, oh well, I haven't given our mission statement. Oh so God. what we do here on Plastic Profiles? No, let's get it. Mm. We examine mm. a classic GI Joe file card and its corresponding character. Mm. Then. <laughs> we, we we examine the uh, modern classified or retro interpretation, or both, all of them. It could be, and uh, then we compare the original figure with the classic and uh, classified retro figures. And they classified and classified retro figures to determine which of those figures is best represented by the information on the file cards. This. That's right. And all. Mm -hmm. Mm. Except for one in here, but most all the pictures in here are brought to us by 3D Joes. Now, I have a little something special for Cobra oh, Convergence no. Eight whipped up. Uh, this is for my buddy Absorb Vids. Uh, <laughs> I think I've done a version of this song for the 3D Joes, uh, but I don't. I didn't put this kind of effort into it. Mm. <clears throat> me, 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 me. <clears throat> Clear the pipes. Here we go. All right, this is in the style of George Michael Fate. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going hard. Here we go. <laughs> I kept 
Okay. Just you'll like it. It's good. It's good. <clears throat> Again, it's in the style of. It's not. It's in the okay. style. Okay. All right. Come on, man. No get, let's get to it. All right. Here we go. All right. Three D to D to D Joe's. Three to D to D. I think it's pretty nice. Cause I collect GI Joe. That there's a place that I can go to see who's accessories or who's. And I gotta think twice before I go somewhere else to complete my Joe shelf. Cause other sites give me the blues. Three Joe. Uh, I'm just gonna say this now, and it's not just because I'm your friend. Uh, <laughs> that was amazing. All right. <laughs> that was amazing. I, goosebumps. Goosebumps. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's amazing. Goodness, man. Ellis has left the building. The 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 talent. <laughs> The talents on this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if I had bedazzled jeans, I'd be wearing those too. But oh, it, it'd be a wrap. It'd be a wrap. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's get it. Let's get into Zorana. All right, come on. Zorana came out in 1986. Code name Zorana, which makes me wonder what's her real name. But mm. let's just go with what they got here. She is Zartan's sister. Zarana is a professional assassin who gains access to her victims through skillful acting and masterful use of makeup and disguise. While her brother Zartan concentrates on the purely physical aspects of disguise, Zarana works from the method actor's point of view to completely become the object of her impersonation, to think, feel, and react like another person. She is an expert in small arms, explosives, and edged weapons, like her two brothers, Sandar and Zar Zartan, of course, she also has the ability to change skin color. And here's the quote. Zorana could have been had a brilliant career on the professional stage if the evil in her nature hadn't been so strong. Tell me about it. No. She throws tantrums, cuts ahead on in lines, and never leaves a tip. She posed as an oral hygienist for six months on one assignment, armed only with a reel of specially coated dental floss to incapacitate her unwilling victims. She escaped dressed as a granny lady hobbling on a walker right past the cops and into a cab. The cabbie oh. remembered her. She didn't live yet. This devil so, yeah. does not look Prada. Whoa, no, I'm no, you. Whoa. no. Yeah, this kitty, this kitty has claws. Ah. Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, what we do here on Plastic, plastic Profiles is sweat the small things. We sweat yep. the small details. No, no detail is too small for us to examine and try to figure out who exactly this character is. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. This file card really tells us nothing about her training or anything like that. Zero zip. No, but she doesn't reply uh, or reply rely solely on skin color changing. Um, kind of a little shade at Zartan if you, and, and Zart and Xandar, if you ask me. Um, mm. They're like, you know, she's actually. Acting yeah, she's like, the real deal. like yeah, yeah, this, yeah, you know. yeah. So, um, so yeah, so let's keep on going. All right. So uh, we've got a real life uh, Q, the chief of disguise for the CIA, uh, former I should say, Jonna Mendez. Um, this is uh, if you see her on the left now, uh, her that's her on the right, but that's her in disguise. Um, she's talking with George Bush and I, uh, George Bush. Uh, senior Corbett Walker. Yeah. You know, 1980s guy. Yeah, yeah. And, um, so, uh, he didn't know that was her during this meeting here. He thought yeah. he was talking to somebody else. Um, it doesn't really mean much, but there's a link to the article down there. You can jo jot that in there and, and go read the, the article. It's pretty interesting. Um, but what I got from that is her, John Mendez's top 10 CIA disguise tips, um, for all you, uh, budding, uh, actors and actresses and so number one blend in if you don't want to be noticed <laughs> okay i didn't say these were all like <laughs> oh i had no idea <laughs> yeah um but anyways if you have time buy local clothing well that makes sense uh number two change your hair if you can't color it or wear a wig a change of style may help change your appearance there you go all right so far these are kind of no-brainers mm -hmm. number three avoid fake mustaches if you're going to be uncomfortable or at risk of perspiring, avoid extra facial hair. So they don't want the Saturday Night Live goof where the mustache is on the wrong side of the face. And, you know, you know, you wear what, be what you got. And, um, you know, I guess I got to throw all of mine away. Yeah. I got a uh, lot of fake beard. This is not real. Yeah. See? <laughs> 
Um, glasses, horn rim glasses can change a face. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, people don't realize when I take these glasses off, I have no eyebrows. No, he doesn't. Um, they're all. just whoop, not even there. Nope. nope. That's what they're I wrong. use this for. There's my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, they're there. They're just very. They blend into the skin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no contrast. <laughs> <laughs> Someone once said, you should tattoo eyebrows on. I'm like, why else would I do that? <laughs> just sprinkle the dots. <laughs> just, just tattoo them. It'll make your eyes. It, you're an insane person. <laughs> I will not tattoo my eyebrows on my head. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's hilarious. Makeup. Makeup can be a game changer for men or women who want to smooth out a rough complexion. Mm. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, number six, accessorize. A man carrying a leather portfolio and a cigar will likely be remembered for his leather portfolio and cigar. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, number seven. <laughs> Number seven, footwear. You can often tell where someone is from, from is from based on their shoes. Okay. Mm. All right. This is from the CIA. I assume they know what they're doing, but all these seem pretty right. straightforward to me. Um, number eight, less can be more. Okay, that seems helpful. You don't need a full mission. In, oh, I added the mission improbable there for the, yeah. the wink to the file card. You don't need a full Mission Improbable style face mask. Your disguise should allow you to smoke, talk, eat, drink, and use your phone. So none of those 1980s masks that are plastic and just look like a static face. You gotta be able to articulate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number nine. Think of a disguise as an onion. Whether you're building it off, building it or peeling it off, you're dealing with layers. When you have the right amount, you disappear and another person is in the room. Mm. Mm. All right. Number 10, own it. Just as important as your disguise is your demeanor. Stride in like you own the room and the character. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing we're not very good at disguising based on this. <laughs> These are all pretty obvious things. But mm. um, yeah, no, th there you go. There's a little tip from your agent, Uncle Agent Chuckles. There you go. All right. So let's get to the toys. Um, 1986 Zorana packaging. A um, lot of lot of pink, and this and and I'm here for it. I love it. It's it's the color of the decade in my mind. In the '80s, mm. everything was neon pink, neon teal. Oh, you know, actually, look at the screen right now with the yeah, pink and the teal bright, right there. Very bright, that, that's bright. That's the '80s right there. Yeah, that's what I see. That and I hear do 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 do. You know, Miami Vice and boat. Oh. Big jam shorts, jams, you remember jams? <laughs> or the skids pants. Okay, so cool thing here. So this is also from 3djoes.com. I'm not going to sing the song again. So there was a board game called Live the Adventure. And if you look at the Zorana uh, on in that board, you see she, she has a different, like her armor piece is gone and it's got a tattoo there. Yeah. Um, and if you ask me a little, kind of fetching quite fetching actually uh, <laughs> but uh, i'm guessing they thought nope that's too much throws our tans arms on her no one will notice the difference too risky <laughs> too risky yeah, yeah um but yeah that's pretty cool pretty cool look um really makes you wonder what exactly she is wearing because there's not a lot left after that armor. right yeah that armor is gone um she must have ripped it off with her weed whacker there I don't need. Yeah. Oh, I don't need sleeves. <laughs> okay, so that one picture I got from somewhere else uh, is here. Uh, forgotten figures dot blogspot dot. Um, so the reason I show it is because there are two different head sculpts for the Serana. Mm -hmm. um, one they they simplify it as one has earrings and one doesn't. But if you look, there's really much more of a difference between. Oh yeah. Them. Um, just one's got kind of a much more youthful face um and sort of has the i don't i don't even know what you call any of these haircuts really but um and then the other one the one like on the right has earrings thing. and she's got a thicker uh more uh i like, don't know what you want to call looks it surprised like her eyebrows <laughs> yeah, yeah there she's she definitely shaves oh. her eyebrows oh. she got those tattooed on for sure yeah <laughs> then the other uh, one is just like angry mm. yeah yeah yeah. 
I just want to preface that my love for Zorana was not based on these <laughs> toys. I, I want to be clear on that. And not even really the packaging. Not. <laughs> not these. <laughs> Yo, you you said it like that. That was weighing on your mind the entire time. <laughs> he was like, you know what? This is the perfect segue. I'm well, going to be able to bring this yeah, up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me put my let's, put, let's put my podium. The air. There's a lot of things going around out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, excuse me. Is it? Is this on? Is this? Is this on? I just I just want to say. <laughs> Thank you for coming to the press conference today. I believe in transparency. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just want to be clear. Uh, well, I just got done describing one. One's got a baby face and one looks like a man. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, none of not not really. I I think we all know who's gonna win. Don't turn the channel. I think we all know who's <laughs> yeah, gonna win. Way to save it, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I promise you, there's good stuff coming. Just don't go. I already know what's gonna happen. All right. So accessories. She's got a weed whacker weapon. She has a knife molded to her right leg. She has a backpack that does something. Don't know what it is. Don't know what's on it. But it's got mm. something on it. Her disguise. She has a color changing ability and earrings sometimes. So there you go. Word. <laughs> uh, okay. So the classified Zorana box art. And, uh, you know, I just noticed something. What the mean? art I pulled up does not have that picture on it anywhere. Huh. It's clearly from the same uh, artist, but yeah. that's not in there anywhere. It must be. Maybe that's on the side of, anyways. Uh, this box art is better, but still not quite what I would look for for Zorana's box style. But I, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna hate it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Marcus Williams did the art for this. His Instagram is at Marcus the Visual. Nice. Uh, his website is MarcusTheVisual.com. Uh, I love it. I love the colors. It mm -hmm. does still give me some '80s pop. Um, but just like uh, what Cover Girl and was there another one? It's very Tank Girl. It's very yeah. um, Harley Quinn kind of like. I can see that. Yeah, yeah which I get. That kind of is a better comp in my mind, but sort of. But uh, yeah, I like it. I would buy the poster. Um, it wouldn't be my like, I'm running out of room. Where am I going to put my Zorana poster? But I'm like, it would be my. If I have a wall that looks like this, yeah, let's put those around on. <laughs> all right, cool. I can add that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put it all over it. Cover up all yeah. this. Cover Everything. all that up. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have viewers having seizures. Like, uh, it's gradient. See, it's a pale yellow and it goes down to a bright yellow. It came that way. Every layer is textured. Don't stare at it. All right. <laughs> We'll move on. All right. The classified Zorana breakdown. She comes with a modified weed whacker weapon with an ammo cartridge. Um, mm -hmm. So it's some sort of, uh, I don't uh, you know, M4 or some. You know, I don't mm -hmm. know what kind of very gears of war. It is. It is, it is very right. gearsy of worry. Yeah. Uh, she has two knives, one on her thigh, and then one. They made. They actually gave her backpack a purpose and made it. It's not exactly the way the old one was, but. As you just heard, we have no idea what that is on the old one. But right. now it's like a charger for this knife that she can pull it out and it's all like hot and lasery or something. So it's like a bzzz, it's like ah, fertilized you know. wounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so at least has a it has a a, a purpose. You know, I, it's not going to help her disguise anything. But mm, uh, no, I'm pretty sure that that that's an accessory that would definitely stand out. Unless she's making her own wigs. Oh. Sawing those hair right off and oh. scalping, throwing yeah. the bloody scalp on her head. Look, this is my hair. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you mean. This is 
I'm blending in. I'm owning this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Walking into the room. I own this room, but your hair, the blood's uh, dropping off your she head. Just, the... Like, you know what I'm saying? Flip her hair back. The scalp falls off. Like, oh, yeah. oh, oh, sorry. This my... is so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> Does your scalp ever fall off too? <laughs> oh, goodness. So she has two hair pieces. Uh, mm -hmm. she has, she's got that haircut. And then... Uh, uh, and then one on the next one we'll look at in a second. Um, and then she has the backpack that Mike goes into. Okay. Uh, so, Zoran, nah, or Zoran, aha. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm so proud of that. I don't know why, but that Zoran, nah, or right, Zoran, no. aha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I got it. It's all right. So yeah. Uh all right. Cool. I, I'm gonna go first on this one. Yeah. Um, as I previously stated, yes. The classic Zorana, it leaves it leaves some to be desired for what Zorana triggers in my subconscious mm -hmm. um and even my conscious. Right. Because <laughs> you're thinking about these things. <laughs> yes. But it is the classic figure. And you know, I'm old, so I always pick the classic ones. Yes. Um, but um, yeah, I can't I can't do it. This is Zorana. Now, here's the thing. Is this Zorana, either Zorana, do you look at that figure and go, that's definitely a master of disguise? Not really, no. But she's definitely got some shady tendencies going on. So that's what I'm going with here. Yeah. If I were to play by normal plastic profiles rules, I would say, well, none of these really look like quick change artists to me. Mm -hmm. um, but she does have the two hairs, two hairs, two head sculpts or hair sculpts, but they're the same color and it's the same hair. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, if I grew my hair out a little bit and I shaved it off, that's not a disguise. Like that's, <laughs> you're still going to know that's Zorana. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm basing these my decision on, um, you know, if I had to have a spot of Zorana on my shelf, which one would I pick? Well, it's going to have to be the classified Zorana. That is my uh, Zorana. That is the ultimate Zorana. Uh, unless they come up with one with a bunch of disguises and stuff, this is the one I'm going to go with. Mm -hmm. Sue the Writing Dad. Who are you picking? All right. Well. I did like what you said about, you know, this does not look like a master of the skies. Right. 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 So, and again, we, it was all about the story. Right. It is. This is her off day. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, this is her off day. This is her. This is the time where she doesn't have to be anybody else. Mm, no. She can be herself. <laughs> and herself is a grungy. You know what I'm saying? Gothy, swamp wielding. I, I I got this big gun. I like to shoot things and eat alligators and talk in an accent and have brothers and sisters and all over the place because I'm a bad girl. That's her off day. And she that's how she lives, man. That's her style, you know? And what perfect disguise because guess what? We would never know that she's a master of disguise. So ultimate win. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're never going to know what her day job is. It's true. It's true. I think she wins that one. Yeah. You know? Anyway, obviously, I'm going with the classified. It's just a better figure. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, you said everything there was to say about that part. I was just going in for the story. But yeah, classified all the way with this one. <laughs> and, and a nice little peek into your subconscious of who you think Zarana is. Yeah. Uh, with the cutting up alligators and. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that know, story man. took quite a turn. I was, I was ready for it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So mm. run out and grab them now if you haven't gotten this two, right. three year old figure by now. Um, <laughs> it's it's but, available. Uh, yeah. So now is the time. This mm. is this is when I think we're really going to see inside Agent Chuckles who I think she is, Zorana is, yeah. Okay. Uh, with our next uh, segment. This is interesting. <laughs> this is a segment we call Casting Call. <laughs> Casting 
Cast and Call. Cast and Call. Where, where we uh, cast a G.I. Joe or Cobra character based on wherever they are from. That is our yeah. one rule, unless, of course, we decide not to go by that rule. Um, we don't really know where the Zartanders, Zartans, Zartanders? I'm not sure what their last name is or what they go by, but I don't know where they're from. Uh, are they yeah. from Australia? Are they from New Jersey? Are they from Florida? Yeah. I don't think New anybody Jersey really truly knows. Um, so, um, yeah, so we're just going to have to pick who we like. Steve, mine is going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to let you go first. Let me go first? I'm going to let you go first. All right, that's cool. Rhea Bloody Ripley. Oh, okay. I, I see that. I see that. One, I think that, you know, they're from Australia, okay? Okay. I like her whole grunge goth, you know, look, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, bottom line is I absolutely adore Rhea Ripley. I mm. think she is very, very talented. She is drop deck gorgeous and uh that's who i want to see play zorana okay i can see that that's that's not bad that's not bad she is a little bit like Bruh. so yeah. like would be hard to like i'm an old lady but i think you're i think you're right on there though she, and, and she has a lot of looks like her she, there's her blonde she has, like and there's I'm her telling you, man. she's uh with a lot of eye makeup and there she is with a lot more eye makeup like yeah, she's got looks really love her. yeah see these are older pictures like some of the newer pictures uh really shows her up but anyway who am i telling she has millions of fans out there yeah and she's amazing that's yeah. all was... and yep that's a okay gorgeous. i think uh yeah i think that's enough for you steve anyways <laughs> so let's go ahead and remove that <laughs> <man>. <laughs> so um Let's go to my picks for Cast and okay. Cole. Um, so, oh. I've always thought she resembled Joan Jett on the uh, card art. And this would have been about the time frame. Whoa, shnikes. Uh, <laughs> little, my gaffer is not holding the light up well. Okay. <laughs> uh, my grip. Um, so, I always thought she resembled Joan Jett um, mm. with, the, with the, the wicked eyes. And they kind of punked up her hair. And actually... Her hair sculpt is a little bit kind of Joan Jetty, a little bit. One of them is. Nice. Um, Joan Jetty. Uh, so that, but I wouldn't necessarily pick her to play uh, Zorana. Mm -hmm. um, I really mean, I, <laughs> I put way more thought into this than I should have. Um, what I, who I actually picked isn't even an actress. Um, okay. I picked Brody Dahl. Wow. Now. <laughs> Believe me, it was hard picking all these pictures. I had mm -hmm. to exhaustively go through a lot of pictures of her. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> it was hard work. It was that hard work looking at all these pictures. Terrible. So many pictures. Poor you. <laughs> um, but she's also from Australia. Um, she's in a band called The Interrupters, a um, okay. uh, punk band. Um, and she sings like she's gargling glass. Oh, goodness. Um, and I think, yeah, it's just, ah, you know, yeah. like, and she has attitude. I mean, that. All right. And then that one down there and then over there. Yeah. So I think she's got the persona. Um, she wears about the same amount of clothes. Mm -hmm. I tried to get something a little, you know, denim yeah, looking, you know. Yeah. So that's, you know, somewhere in there. Um, <laughs> All right. I feel dirty. Dude. <laughs> Get Dude. off the screen. Okay, so here's our plastic profiles checklist. Uh, you can see Zorana is checked off on the right-hand side. Um, still a lot more to go. Still a lot of characters yeah. that have come out that we've got to do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, see, here's the thing. I didn't check off Beachhead yet. Because oh, <laughs> Beachhead came out yesterday in our time um and uh with our uh special guest host mike irizari from what's on joe mind thank you for yep. uh coming yep. on we enjoyed it thank you so much yeah um so yeah so we got a lot more to go that's right here we are that's right you're not getting rid of us that easily <laughs> yeah no no we're for the long haul <laughs> yeah yeah so uh so that was it. That was our, our Cobra Convergence 8 offering yeah. Serana. We both love the classified figure. And uh, yeah. 
She is very new. Oh, I also wore my bad girl misfits from Gem. Yeah, look at you. I see what you did there. Yeah. I see what you did there. I was gonna wear a real misfits shirt. I was like, man, but it's any people may not put it still works really, but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll wear this one. So All right. I saw I saw them when they were in Seattle. Tour dates. Nice. <laughs> there you go. I was there. I was there. <laughs> Only the people that were there could get this. Okay. Yeah. I was one of the special hundreds. <laughs> don't go Googling it because you definitely won't find it. Just don't even bother. <laughs> it's definitely not on Super 7's website. <laughs> nah. All right. Uh, don't even make these anymore. It's vintage. Limited edition. <laughs> <laughs> it's rare, so stop looking. <laughs> oh boy it's good to be back yeah 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 we filmed so far in ahead so I, I know i don't know if we explained at the beginning of the episode but uh we film very often far in ahead but i lifed a lot here this month and so mm -hmm. uh you know i wasn't able to continue my my uh my pace mm -hmm. and um so we're skin at the teeth in right now so we yeah. rocked it out we yeah, but hey, we're only at like 34 minutes right now, so we did pretty good. Interesting. Normally, I this would be a lot longer. I mean, I could go through and show more Brody doll pictures if you want. I mean, I don't think we have time for all of the pictures that you got. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> I'm a bad boy. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to like and subscribe. Where's my mouse? Like and subscribe. Subscribe, like and subscribe. Nice. Uh, it means the world to us. Like uh, really means a lot. Like um, the world, really. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and we really appreciate it. Um, both Steve and I have social medias. Um, I like to take toy photography pictures type things. And I have an Instagram and Facebook and all those things. All those links will be in the description, as will Steve's. Steve, why don't you tell them what you do a little bit of, though? Come to the writingdad.com. There you'll see, you know, my short stories that I have coming out. Also, I talk about what it is to be a dad, little situations that come up, situations that I talk to with my other friends, and that we can all be a village, man. Raising kids is tough. And then right. come see us. We love you all guys right. and we Very appreciate you. Very good. And all, all the links to all that will be in the description below. So check Thank us out like everywhere right. you are. We're there too, more often than yes. not. Uh, you can also find the audio version of this if you prefer to listen on the go. OTG, yeah. as the kids like to say. But you're missing out on a lot. I'm just but you're saying. missing out on a lot of Brody doll pictures. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> oh okay. There you go. Oh, my gosh. So I think that's it for now. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for watching. Absolutely. Again, Brian Lower, Hood of Cobra Commander 788. Thank you so much. Um, and everybody, thank you for watching. Yo, Joe, everybody. Yo, Joe.